Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to American Falls by Lancy Boy. Just sitting outside the store, patiently waiting for it to open any minute now. Ah, beautiful. Let's uh, let's hop in our vulture. We've been waiting patiently. We're number one in line. <laughs> yeah, I think we're there. I think we're gonna be the only ones in line today. <laughs> Something tells me. Anyways, happy Thursday. Hope everybody's doing well. So what are we doing today? Well, you can probably see we've got some equipment lined up for another contract. What a shocker. Actually, I just thought of something. So I was thinking that maybe we should have our Vultra checked out. Now, I don't even remember. Uh, open maintenance menu. See, it's been so long. Control I. That did not work. Control J. That's why, Brad. Learn to read. There is currently no known damage that needs to be repaired. Well, yes, I know. But can we do an inspection? Uh, yeah, let's do an inspection. Can't start the Valtra. Valtra is now being inspected. Something tells me we're going to see... Well, something tells me we're going to see some damages, but I could be wrong. I would expect damages. Do want to jump over to our truck real quickly, like, because I just thought... I haven't looked at our bales here in our field. Ooh, grass is looking good. I'd say, I'd say give it another month before we mow again, I think. Fermentations, almost 60%. Yeah, let's give it uh, let's give it another month. So, how does with when you do multiple days uh, per month? Because I've never played multiple days until this particular series. Um, does it? How do, how does that work with fermentation? I'm assuming it's if it's one day months fermentation would say take three months, but if it's two day months fermentation doesn't take three months like six days and i'm assuming the game breaks it up so it's still three days i have no idea i'm assuming that's so so yeah what are we doing well we're going to do another foraging contract this one's with a little bit more traditional forage equipment not a heavy paying contract but not a large field either but there was something of interest about this contract that I want to uh, show you. It's our drop-off point of where we take our, our chaff. I'm still a little confused about something. But we'll see how this operates here. So let's, uh, let's scooch around. I'm going to... I'm going to try and do the old pull our own trailer business again. If I can figure out how to connect to a trailer. There we go. And I'm hoping we don't have to make too many trips. The drop off point, the sell point for this, uh, this here contract is, oh man, Brad. Yeah, buddy, you need to. You need to wake up, man. Wake up and smell the driving. Our drop-off point isn't too far away. But as I was looking at the contracts... Well, first of all, this is... We're not getting a lot of harvesting contracts. And I think part of that is we just haven't, you know given the game time to get around the block on that i i'm thinking oh is this our turn i think this might be our turn uh actually we could go up another one but it seems like we would have run into more regular harvesting contracts by now But alas, we have not. And I don't know if that's because of the type of crops that are mostly on this map. There's a lot of cotton on the map. Uh, there is some... Oh, I don't know. Uh, flax and some other stuff. I don't know. I just haven't really seen 
a lot of opportunity for standard harvesting. Maybe we'll see some more this fall. A lot of cultivating, a lot of spraying. Uh, where are we going? I think we're... Uh, I think... I don't want to get stuck back here. Oh, there's our field. Dead ahead, sir. Iceberg dead ahead. Yeah. Boy, note to self, this may not be the best place to come back to when it's raining. A little muddy back here, I would assume. Let's get unfolded. Field 14, indeed it is. And I think we're going to need to pipe out. And I think we're going to need uh, to... There we go. We can kill those beacons. And let's get to... Let's get to knocking this bad Mamba Jamba out. I still think it's interesting. I went through the... I went through the 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 the, uh, the various types of sellable items on this map. I, I don't know if this is normal. I can't. I went to Elm Creek and I looked on there too, and I and I couldn't find it on there. But I thought it was interesting that chaff is not listed in the sellable items. Like, it's, it's nowhere to be found. Like, that's sugar beet cut. But I went through these things two, three times because I have a tendency to not see the obvious. I just didn't see it in here, which, for the life of me, doesn't make a lot of sense. Because, clearly, you can sell it. I don't know. Is that, is that, is that, uh, yeah, is that normal? I don't know. Seems weird to me, but I've had things seem that way to me before and they're perfectly normal. So I don't know. I don't think I saw it on Elm Creek. I always go to like a base game map as reference because with mod maps, you just, you never really know if a mod author has done something differently or if they have purposely left something out or what the dealio is. But boy, I gotta tell you, I find foraging crops to be oddly satisfying. And I don't completely know why. I think it's partially just I like foraging regardless. I like using a forage harvester. But there's something oddly satisfying about seeing that shoot of, you know, just chaff being shot to the back there. I like that. I like that steady stream like that. Maybe it's partially too knowing that I'm absolutely destroying a perfectly good crop. <laughs> I feel like I'm destroying a perfectly good crop that has done nothing wrong. It's done nothing to me personally. But I'm coming over with a forage harvester and I am just going to town. And this particular, I mean, look how nice and plush this field looks. It looks like it would be a beautiful crop to harvest. That is so weird. I don't know if you're seeing that on the recording. I've seen this on other maps too. You see that water right there on the left-hand side and you kind of turn, see that? Isn't that weird? Eh, something to do. Something with the game. I don't know. I've seen that before on other maps. It always catches me off guard a little bit when I see that. I don't think this has exactly zero turn radius going on here. Oh, we could have put silage additive. That would have been interesting, actually. That actually might have been worth it. You know, I'm tempted to throw some silage additive into this thing. Because we do get paid. I'm, t I'm tempted to throw some silage additive into this here machine. 
And I'll tell you why, if you don't already know why. But silage additive isn't cheap, but it's always paid for itself. Where is the stinking silage additive? Almost $3,000. <laughs> I am going to be lazy. And we are going to go ahead and buy a pallet of silent. Uh, I should probably. Yeah, we'll have it delivered here. Why not? Just have to remember to grab it because we're definitely not going to use it all. We get paid for any overage, right? Come on, Brad, hit the right button. I don't want to go crazy on the silage additive because I don't think I don't think we're gonna use that much. Um, but we get paid for any overage crop that we bring. So once the contract is done, you can just keep on selling, right? Whatever's left. And silage additive. I'm going to assume, oh, I think I screwed up. And I think I remember doing this before. Is it using silage additive? Oh, it is using it. Oh, that's good. Okay, excellent. I was just kind of second guess myself there because I thought, well, I don't know if it'll use silage additive when foraging crops. I, I wasn't particularly sure about that, but hey, I guess why not, right? Yeah, it's using it up. Downside is it's definitely going to fill our trailer faster. Plus side is we should have considerably more left over past the contract amount that we sh will be cash profit for us, which I'm always up for that. Let's see if how well that pays off. Three grand for it? Mm, I don't know. Yeah. Kind of, kind of expensive. That's like after we lease our equipment, that's like half of our contract fee. Because this is definitely not a high paying contract. Yeah, I do. I really like, I like foraging. Foraging is one of my, one of my more favorite things to do if I can tow my own trailer. If I have to deal with AI, I get a little, sometimes a little frustrated with them. They can be a little bit, um, a little twitchy, a little bit twitchy. Speaking of twitchy, what was twitchy? Why, where, why am I, what am I thinking? Twitchy was a squirrel, but I can't remember. I can't remember what cartoon twitchy was was a squirrel in but twitchy was awesome uh we need to figure out the fastest way to get to our drop off our drop off is a fermenting silo that i think is over there and we are over here i would love to think we could snake through here but i'm not so sure we can with this stinking let's try something this is one of those deals where I'm gonna regret it and know that it would have been a lot faster had I just taken the road but you know what what's the saying the road the road less taken is um, oh, I don't know I don't know what it is the road less taken is the one most traveled no, I don't, know what, I don't think that's right. Oh, man, I don't think that's right at all. Let me hop inside. It's easier to see around these stinking trees. Yeah, this thing, oh, this thing does not like to turn. It does not like to turn sharp, that's for sure. All right, onward and upward. This stuff is leased, so, you know, we don't necessarily care as much about you know, how we treat it take insurance out on it and go to town uh i lost my trail where's my trail over here should we turn there that looks like that that looks like where, where's my where's my map grab the map brad 
Oh, that, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's... We might have actually, I might have somehow Forrest Gump my way to doing this the right way. How does that happen? That completely screws up my plans. I am going to, I don't know whose field this is, but bummer. I count on the fact that I will not, whoa, whoa, pipe in, man, pipe in. You got your pipe dragging around all over, tarnation, hitting trees and whatnot. It's the whatnot you got to watch out for. Trees are no big deal, but the whatnot, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that'll wreck you. Oh, come on. That's not even fair, man. That's not even fair. It's not that. I would get, I would get a... I would get a, uh, 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 what do you call those things, the uh, angle grinder or something, and I would just take part of that stinking road guard right out of business. Look at this thing just getting dragged. It just is not like turning sharp at all. I, I'm gonna get, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get stuck. Just go around. Just Brad, Brad, Brad. Oh, oh, this is gonna get bad. Oh, we did it. Okay. Probably gonna have to come back and fix that. Oh, hello, farm. That's our. Oh, that's our fence. Oh, shoot. Then I don't care. I'm good with that. Where is? Where? Boy, yeah. That I don't think that was a shortcut. I'm looking at this now, thinking that was probably not a shortcut. Next time we'll try something a little bit different. So we have to drop this off at this fermenting silo. And I'm thinking, wait a minute. I'm not used to fermenting silos. Uh, paying out. You know what I'm saying? It's, they're not really a... I mean, they are production, but they're not. So I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know if we're going to be able to drop this off and it's actually going to work or what. But then I'm thinking, so here we go. Here's our fermenting silo. Sounds like it's running, maybe. And look at this. So we can buy this fermenting silo for 60 grand. So here we are here. We don't own any of that farmland, but yet it's letting us buy just that as a, like a production facility. And that's kind of tempting because fermenting silos are really, really, really nice. And my experience with fermenting silos has been, they are a lot better than wrapping all the time and you can make some good money with selling fermented goods. Uh, where's our, where's our, okay. Yeah, well, it's definitely counting. It's definitely counting um, towards the contract, so that's good. I like that. I'm going to turn this off. Um, I've never dropped off at a, at a regular placed fermenting silo. But then, if I think about it, um, fermenting silos like that one right there, I normally place them myself on my farm. And, they're, and I don't think they're usually regarded as production sites, but I kind of like that. And I like the fact that we can buy that thing on somebody else's farm. Boy, I'm not, this is, this is not, this is, no, this is not good. This, this is not good at all. They should have put a, they should have put a, um, a sign up there saying no, no out, no exit, no out entry. 
dead end. Good luck. All right, we're just gonna back this puppy up. Probably hit a tree. This thing does not turn very sharp, so I kind of, I kind of just need to, to baby it. Can we get out over here? I could probably grab. We were given, we were given a tractor. And maybe that's what I should do, is grab the stinking tractor. And use the tractor to haul. Let's go this way. Our field 14 is up over there. I think once we get across this little, uh, this little uh, water dealio I think we can just I think we can just trample yeah I don't know how long it would take for oh boy oh boy I don't know how long it would take for all oh, railroad tracks stinking railroad tracks too this was such a bad idea. I don't know how long it would take to pay off that, that fermenting silo. Well, it might be a better idea just for us to place our own fermenting silo on our own property. That might be a better option. Uh, where's, where's our field? I don't want to overshoot it. It's right there. We're going to have to, um, we are going to have to scooch across these stinking railroad tracks. Oh, I see the trail over there. Okay. All right. I see what's going on. Yeah, it's been a day. It's been a day at work. It's been a day here. And some days I go into it and I just know things are not going to go go well. And then they sometimes do. And then I think, you know what? Things are going to go well. And it's and, and, uh, miserable. So, who knows? Where in the world? Aha. Uh -huh. This looks like something I've done. Unfold. Unfold. Maybe we use the right button, Brad. There you go. There you go. You'll figure it out. So maybe the silage additive will pay off. Maybe it won't. I don't know. I do know that my experience with silage additive has been very positive. I think it's roughly 20 to 25% net gain using silage additive. I guess if you really want to wrap your brain around it, you would have to think about... You know, you'd maybe say, well, if I do 20 more percent... What's the payout for chaff? How quickly will I, you know, get my investment back? So on and so forth. And sometimes the, it just makes me tired thinking about having to figure that out. So I just kind of, I just kind of do it. But generally speaking, silage additive has never steered me wrong. I've, I, uh, I've always had really, really good success with balers that have it, forage harvesters, uh, pickup wagons, anything that basically allows me to use it, I've had pretty good luck with. And I just realized once again 
for all the time I'm wasting. And I am going to forget my little silage palette. My silage additive palette. We're going to pick up the pace a little bit. Oh, maybe not quite that much. Not that slow either. That feels about right. Chad took a, uh, a personal day today. He's, um, he uh, went to Ikea to um, buy some uh, buy some stuff for his crate. I told him he's, <laughs> he's <laughs> not a lot of room in there, you know, but he's he's bent on you know, trying to make his crate his own. And Ikea is the place to go, you know, if you're going to do, if you're looking for, you know, small dressers, you know, different things, maybe some, some plates, some dinnerware, things like that. Ikea is not a bad place to go. I used to love Ikea. Oh, man. Oh, I loved Ikea. I love the smell of Ikea. It was like when they were, when they weren't as, um, when they were still not very expanded in the United States, uh, there was one that I went to, but we had to drive like three hours to get to it. And we would just wake up super early in the morning, go to Ikea basically spend most of the day there. It was like a stinking amusement park. Still can't believe I did that. But I really like their Swedish meatballs. And I really like their uh, Danishes, are they? The, the cinnamon rolls. Oh, they, they just had some good stuff. I don't know if IKEA has changed a lot. It's been it's been quite a while since I. Uh... You gonna fold up for me there, buddy? It's been quite a while since I've been there. Wouldn't mind going back someday. It's always kind of cracks me up because it's you know it's that, oh man, you know only five dollars for this and only ten dollars for this. But then you buy twenty of them, so you end up spending just as much money. as if you would have just bought one nice thing. I read somewhere when Ikea was kind of a, uh, kind of new and whatnot, I read somewhere about their, um, their box design, their packaging design department, and how much effort went into them being able, because you know, they're well known for like their flat boxes. And how much effort went into just designing things to fit in a flat box. I know I went this way last time. I don't know if this worked for us or not. I think I screwed something up the last time I did this. It's like the fermenting silo is over there. I think I need to cut across this farmer's field even more. Oh, this is looking a little more familiar. Where's that, um... Where's that deal that goes under the railroad tracks, though? Oh, boy. Oh, boy, this is... Uh-oh, oh, shoot. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, I don't, this is not good. I, I don't know. There's some... I'm missing the... I'm missing the ball game here somehow, man. Oh, well. As long as we kind of, I guess, get out and about. Oh, spin it off-road. 
That might have been a little better than I did last time. I don't know. At least we didn't get hung up on our fence. I don't think chaff pays off a whole lot, so it's not. I'm not feeling the. Wait a minute. 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 Uh, so I'm not thinking we're exactly going to get rich from the extra we'll make from a silage additive, but every little bit helps, especially uh, when you start getting to be kind of slim pickings for uh, contract jobs. Get the old Brantner power push. It definitely is a power pusher. Not too bad for the onload speed. This looks like it would have been a nice farm to pick up. I think this farm was a little more expensive than, um, than the money we had, I think. I'm not going to make that same stinking mistake again that I made last time. And I'm not going to make that corner right there. That's for darn sure. But can I make... Can I do this? Yeah, we'll sneak around this way. There we go. There we go. That'll work. And then we can come up around here. And we'll try and sneak over a little bit better this time. Every time I go by this little island here and this little fishing hole, it looks so nice. It looks so nice. Spending an afternoon there, it sounds so nice. Well, let's see if we can scooch our way over this way. Railroad tracks, too bad, so sad. I'm getting less fancy now with this. And yeah, where are we at? That wasn't too bad. I know there's a, there's gotta be a little bit smoother way to do that, but you know what? Nobody's looking. So what the heck? Amazing weather here. I can't get over our weather lately. Like the second day in like of, of um, this has been like the second day of seventy degrees. It's a little terrifying if I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie here because I'm thinking. It always makes me wonder like what is summer gonna be like if this is what you know late winter is. Oh boy. Because I personally would rather kind of have a miserable winter and a mild summer. I am not a um, heat index fan by any stretch of the imagination. I, I just don't like, especially high humidity. I'm just not that kind of guy. And I, and I know people that are like, oh, yeah, bring it on. The hotter, the better. It's like. 92, 100% humidity, and they're loving it, and I'm uh, just miserable. Just absolutely miserable. <laughs> this part. <laughs> I think... I don't think this forage harvester likes the uh, this trailer hookup a whole lot. We need a longer. We need a longer tongue. Maybe the the snuffle stick would be the way to go. Is that what it's called? The snuffle stick. The, the snuffle stock. The snuffle stock. Something like that. That would give us a little bit more turning radius, I think.
Let's do a little inside. I like the inside of this thing. And that way I don't see the the disaster that is the trailer hookup. Nice. I don't know. I don't know what I like better. I don't know if I like... Let's see, does not want to turn. I don't know if I like uh, first person inside the cab. Oh, we're just... Yeah, look at this thing. It does not want to go. I don't know if I like inside the cab better, outside the cab better. I kind of like a blend. Every once in a while, certain things I kind of like doing inside cab. If I'm watching gameplay, I think I generally like outside the cab, because then you just kind of see a bigger picture. But I know that there are people that really like, you know, kind of this whole first person dealio. Let's see if we can get one more wagon full before I call this good. I just can't believe we're destroying. Is this barley? Just perfectly good crop. Don't run over our silage additive, Brad. Gonna be shooting out the back of the trailer. Right, let's try to get. That's just about perfect. All right. Better fold this up. Could go grab our tractor, but I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit lazy about doing that. Come on. Kick it into gear, buddy. We're going to take this corner. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I guess the only other thing left to do now is to get hit by a train when I'm crossing the railroad tracks. Would like to avoid doing that if possible. I'm going to miss our turn, but I think we're going to... <laughs> We're gonna Dukes of Hazard this one. <laughs> Nobody's looking. Speaking of nobody's looking, have you guys ever seen those? Any of those videos they show about weird things that have been caught on Google Street View? and weird things that have been caught on Google Earth. I was watching some video the other day and it was kind of freaky to see some of the weird like bizarre things that have been that have been caught on I mean, it's just you got to wonder like what are people thinking? Some of them were kind of funny. I mean, I hate to laugh at other people's expense, but some of them were kind of funny with people like getting, like in the process of falling down steps or something or taking a header off a bike. Can you imagine that's your legacy? You know, you're just an average Joe 
and you find out that Google Street View, the little cars that run around, they just happen to be there when you were taking a <laughs> taking a header off your bike. <laughs> uh, that would suck. It'd be bad enough to take the header off your bike, let alone be permanently immoral, <laughs> immortal, immortal. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try and say that right now. Immortalized or whatever <laughs> on on Google. <laughs> As, as your hands are stretched out in front of you, your butt is clearing the, <laughs> the handlebars of your bike. That would be horrific. All right. I'm going to say hasta la vista for now. We are 80-some uh, uh, percent there. I'm not feeling... In, I'm kind of feeling like the, the silage additive was probably not the greatest idea. Um, I think it would have been better had it been a larger contract and a larger field. But I'm not so sure it was the greatest idea for this size of a, of a job. So I'm not going to I'm not thinking we're going to see a, a huge um, a huge payout as I was hoping. But anyways, worth trying, I guess. Where does where where does this little uh little little guy go right here this looks like it's not gonna oh we did this one time yeah this is not a good idea this was a bad idea the last time I did it I'm not sure I'm the biggest fan of these tracks on the front of the on the front of this thing I don't know if that's um, making it better or worse I guess the I guess it's rear steering so maybe it doesn't really matter a whole lot but yeah we'll see all right everyone thanks so much for joining me again I uh, hope you have a really good Thursday we'll be back here for the week wrap-up for Friday's wrap-up video hopefully I will have found a contract that I managed to not completely destroy. Oh man, that, that's a rough ride right there. I felt that one all the way up my spine. But until then, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out for Chad if you're at IKEA. Maybe help. Oh, maybe help him pick out a new. <laughs> new bedding set or something, I don't know. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.